Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial from beginner to advanced. So if you are a beginner or you already know about Laravel and you want to create a advanced e-commerce project then this tutorial is for you. So I'll talk about a lot of feature about Laravel in this tutorial. So let me just show you what kind of feature we'll have in this project. So this will be the home page and we'll use this template for this tutorial and the user will be able to see the product and user can also add product to the card but in order to add the product to the card user needs to be login and user can order or buy the product from the card uh, we'll also have login and log sign up option over here as well and we'll also have a payment option uh, when the user buy the product the payment option will be like paypal or it may be stipe payment and stipe payment means uh, payment by visa mastercard credit card or debit card and uh, user will also get a confirmation email when they buy the product okay so this will be the feature of the user home page and let's talk about the admin dashboard so this is how our admin dashboard will look and the admin will be able to add product delete or update the product and admin will also be able to like uh, see the order cancel the order and also admin have the ability to send a mail notification to the customer as well so this will be all the feature so now let's go and create our laravel project and in order to create our laravel project you need to make sure that if you have xamp install in your device then you also need to have composer install and node.js as well and when you are installing node.js you need to make sure that you are downloading the uh, recommend for most user this version okay so once you have xamp composer and node.js installed you are ready to create your laravel project so let's go and create our laravel project and in order to create our laravel project we need to use this command this command will create our laravel project so let me just copy this command ctrl c and let's go to my folder and let's say we will create our laravel project over here in local disk g so in order to create a laravel project uh, we need to open a common form let's just say over here cmd and if we now press enter it will open a common prompt and we'll just paste this command over here and here you can see composer create uh, hyphen project laravel slash laravel and here you can see example app and over here instead of example app we will say our project name you can give your project name anything you want since this is an advanced e-commerce project let's just say here e-commerce uh, let's say e-commerce po and let's press enter and if we press enter it will start creating our laravel project and it will take like 5 to 10 minutes to create our project so i'll just fast forward the video for now so here you can see that our project creation is complete and if you go to our folder uh, here you can see e-commerce pro a folder over here and if you go inside you will see something like this so now how we are going to run this project so for it uh, here you can see that currently we are in the local disk g and we need to be this e-commerce pro folder directory so for it we are just going to say here cd we'll say e-commerce pro and if we press enter so here you can see currently we are in the e-commerce pro directory so in order to run the project all we have to do is that we need to say php artisan serve and if we press enter here you can see starting development server so let me just copy this ctrl c and i'll paste it in the browser ctrl v and press enter and there you go this is our laravel project so now let's go and set up our database and i already opened the project using sublime text over here you can see e-commerce po and we'll directly go to dot env file and here you can see db database equal to laravel let's change the database name to let's say here e-commerce pro so our database name will be e-commerce pro and username root password is null so let me just copy this database name ctrl c 
and we will now go to our browser and we'll go to our PSP my admin now in order to go to PSP my admin you need to make sure that you started your exam over here like this so right now let's go and create a database so for creating a database we need to click new and here we are going to mention our database name which was e-commerce pro and we'll just click create and it will create our database and here you go so this is the database that we just created so this is all about this tutorial in this tutorial we just uh, create a project and set up our database so in the next tutorial we'll make admin login and user login and registration system and when the user is logged in then it will take user to a specific page and when the admin is logged in then it will take the admin to the admin dashboard so i hope everything is clear and thanks for watching and if you like this video then please subscribe to this channel i will actually really appreciate it and you will get the full tutorial playlist at the right corner of this video and also in the description as well so thank you very much for watching stay tuned and stay healthy